All right, hey YouTube, what's going on? It's uh, it's the Dead Cast, and this is Zach. We're coming to you with a walkthrough on Dragon Age Origins. We know this is a older game, but it, it's one of my personal favorites, and a lot of people love it. The story, the lore behind it, everything. It's a fantastic game, and if you haven't played it by now, or if you've been the last few years, and I highly recommend it. Anyway. Uh, I already have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to be doing, uh, the kind of character I want to build. I've played through it several times before. I'm going to be going for dwarfs. I'm a dwarf whore. I love them. Mm, love the dwarf. Look at that. I'm going to be a noble. I don't know. You pour, rise to the top. Look at these little daggers. He's so cute. Uh, but no. We'll start out rich, powerful, famous. All that good stuff. Greedy. See, uh, I don't know. I'm not really worried about this stuff. Just want hair. What we? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm. Fe you guys. Yeah, that's. It's perfect. It's perfect. Do we care about that? How do you do? I go with cocky. Yeah, why not? I don't know, name, it's something g generic name, or something funky, right, you got any ideas? Hmm. Alright, we'll call him Zach, that's my first commentary, so we'll, we'll stick to it. Let's see, we'll go sword and shield, a few points of dexterity. Persuasion. Alright. Yeah, we'll do it on easy, why not? So I don't look like a fool in front of everyone on here. That'd be kind of bad. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, not gonna lie. A little nervous. First time doing it. And we might be having issues. Oh, oh, never mind. We're safe. Deep beneath the frost mountains sits Orzammar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Orzammar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the Dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Orzammar's impregnable construction, the Dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the Noble Assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. Oh yeah, look at me. I'm, I'm definitely ready. Dead sexy. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Hmm. Do I wish to wear my shield? Uh... Hmm. Yeah, why not? Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. <laughs> Very fun. One can't take all this marching about and speech making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. Of course. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's that's exciting stuff. Petty grievances, gotta love that. As part of the celebration, these permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Yeah, I'm game. Let's, let's go do that. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. All right, all right. Let's get started here. Let's see, we got me and all my sexiness. It's be a learning experience, guys. Never played this on computer before, actually. Control party members. Controlling you, take control of this character directly. Well, let's click on his or her portrait or body. Alternatively, you can use tactics menu and tactics menu. Forget that. Exploration. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom. Ooh, oh, fancy. In and out. Exploration, scroll backwards, attack combat. Right, exploration mode, moving your mouse while clicking the right button, rotate your view in tactical mode. Clicking the mouse wheel. Clicking in the mouse wheel lets you pan across the screen. You can only pan until your party members are at the edge of the screen. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. Even though I didn't really read most of it, just kind of skim through it. Ooh. Loot, like loot. All right. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. A lot different from the console version. And I'm on. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, why not take all of it? Hell. Yeah, I'm gonna make pointless noises and ramble on and possibly talk to people moving around. It'll, not in the game, but not here by me. So, oh. yeah. Yes. Just to warn you guys. Huh. That's a fancy looking wolf. What's up? I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... forgive me. He's not as sexy as I am. Prince Balin is attending the feast being held in Lord Iduken's honor. Yes, of... of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. Mm. That was too hard on her. I'm sorry. Thank you. You can stay. I will go now. I said you never mind then. Forget your face. Let's see. Anything I can loot in here? Nothing. No. Well. Ooh, walking dizzy. I guess we we'll go ahead and head out of here. Head to the proving you guys. Probably don't want to see this random walking around. Well, decisions, decisions. Are you sure you want to go to the feast now? I doubt we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. Well, I know that. I can't wait to see who's fighting today. Me, because I want to. I am proud to serve the idea. The loading screens are so boring. They could put like random facts up here, but no. Just a little spinning thing that my game, my computer doesn't like. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. Yeah, blah blah blah. He's saying some stuff when I'm listening. Small bolt of cloth? That's outrageous. You certainly have some gall, merchant. I trust father, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? 
Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. Hmm. That's weird. Brother looks like me. Brotherly love. Except for, well, you know, Trian. He's gay. No one likes Trian. Shut up, Trian. Yeah, go. I go work. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow, I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? He's a dick. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment on dick. those who need it. Now then, you get to the feast. You know what? You can suck my dick, but kiss my eyes words. I advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Oh, Come, oh. Balin. Scary. Threaten me. I'll beat you with a tiny shield. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. We should kill him. I mean, what? No, I have. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill him. Perhaps this isn't the best place for that sort of talk, shall we? I've seen Prince Ooh, Balin and I Duke himself we, wearing a robe made of something quite similar. And she, uh, head, check, no, wrong one. Not Christ, that. Check my it. inventory, see what we have. Silver Edge, no, the Edge. Ooh. Interesting. Dragon's bow. I'm not gonna use bow, obviously. Yeah, DLC stuff. Giggity. Mmm, Lion's Paw. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Mm, Helm of the Deep. She has many pockets. Pearl the Anointed, Lucky Stone. One, two, five, let's see. Let's see this. Yeah, alright. Let's keep what we have on. Ooh, Blood Dragon Plate. That's what we want. Shield. That shield, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we have all the DLC, by the way. I did mention that before, so we can just kind of do whatever. Oh, we have one ring on. That's. Oh, okay. Constitution. Can't help in combat. Yeah, we don't want that. We want hostility. Ah, oh, it's hostility. It'll be a tank. Guildmaster's bill. Actually, I think they got it set up pretty nice. Believe it or not. I guess I would put something on this. Stamina regeneration is nice. Uh -huh. Stamp longsword equip. Shield. Alright, yep. Just roll. Only to end up looking like a poor imitation of Prince Bait. Mm, let's talk to these hookers. What have we here? Two handsome, strapping noble lords. You both look so grand. And isn't this the man of the hour, the king's son? Who's your friend, my lord? Another noble from the honored house I duke in? Uh, something like that. <laughs> but not from a noble house, girls. Sargorum, warrior caste. Oh, that's too bad. You're quite handsome. Uh, do him anyway, you dirty slut. Let's see. <laughs> Why do you care if Gorum is a noble? Oh, They're noble hunters, my lord. A man takes his cast from his father, and these women hope to bear a noble lord's son. If one is successful, she's raised up to concubine in the noble house to care for her child. It provides new sword arms for the house, and many noble... This concludes our video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, uh, share, subscribe, find us on Facebook. We have a website set up. This is the Deadcast. Uh, for every one of those you do, I'll touch myself at night. That's a promise.